What's going on guys? Welcome back to The Forge. I'm Vulcan and today we are taking a look at how to unlock and acquire the Redeemer armor set. Now here's a closer look at this thing. This set comes from the arena in the Dur Stronghold. And as you can see on the pauldrons here we got a little light and dark action, you know, kind of opposing opposing forces. The blades we're offering here are Hydra Blades. These are dropped from the top level arena kind of instance type deal. We'll go over that momentarily. But this is all heavy armor. So if we take a look here, like I said, we have our Hydra Blades. Um, they rolled pretty well. We have our Redeemer Greaves, pants, everything. So it is a wonderfully looking set. And it's also fun to go ahead and go out and grab. I had a really good time doing the arena to unlock this stuff. And it's also a pretty big surprise. I mean, nothing's cooler than going out and doing something and seeing a legendary drop out of it. I was pretty impressed. So here is the set that I used to go out and grab this and unlock all these things. So nothing out of the ordinary, nothing crazy. You know, we had a few rares. These Templar things, I bought those in the town of Amarath. So once you hit 20 after the campaign, you can go out and purchase these things and actually use them, which is nice. In order to unlock the arena, you have to have finished the campaign and unlocked Dur Stronghold. Unlocking Dur Stronghold is pretty simple. You literally just walk up to it. There's a few things you have to do, uh, talk to a couple people, but you'll be in and ready to rock. <clears throat> Now, here's another thing, guys. This build that I'm, gonna about, that I'm about to show you is very simple. It's very straightforward. You can do it with anything. Like I said, I did it with a level 9 crossbow. It was a superior rolled crossbow that actually rolled kind of well. But nevertheless, it was putting out a max of 83 damage. That was the max. So as you can see, like on mine, it's, this one is 91 to 171. I was using a 43 to 83. So it was not the greatest by any means but it got the job done and this build is such a workhorse it'll get the job done for you too so let's jump into the build to unlock the redeemer set easy sauce all right first things first guys you want to put all your points into agility and toughness all right i have 411 total agility i'm in the excellent category and i have 112 toughness in the good category which nets me a 1136 health pool and a nice 376 defense rate. My critical chance my weapons is 86 or I'm sorry 87.8%. That's phenomenal. You want to shoot for that. Obviously, you want to try to get to 100, but this is great. This is great to go for. Now, you can also see my attack speed modifier is 8% with attack speed of 1.1 going off my crossbow. And then my damage modifier for ranged is plus 57.4. So these specs in here are absolutely targeted. They're things that I've geared towards. So they're also things that just come from the spec itself. Speaking of, here is what I use. Now your bread and butter ability, this is going to be your big ability, is going to be Arrow's Rain. This thing does just an insanely stupid amount of damage to everything in an area. You use this and things just fall over it's incredible so looking at it it lasts four seconds in a circle um, you can see the range is four meters it has a seven second cooldown but it does 228 percent of your weapon damage each second which is great not to mention the crit multiplier on that and you're looking at some huge damage i was putting out two to three thousand ticks just boom 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 and things were just falling over now the rest of my setup I have elemental ammunition, frost arrows, these are crucial. It freezes your enemies in their steps so then you can further damage them and it keeps them at bay too so that way you don't take you know unnecessary damage. Also you want your traps, this is the same thing. Your traps will actually inherit your frost arrow ammunition so when they step into the trap it'll freeze everybody in that trap and you'll be able to drop a nice little arrow rain on them. We'll show you in a video coming up. Now the impairing ammunition you have toxic, serrated, and sharp. I go with sharp because I need the increased crit damage and crit chance, and that has just been a bread and butter ability for me since the beginning, wiping things off the map. Now, the other three, Killer Instinct, Blade Slinger, Holy Dive, those are completely elective. 
Honestly, I don't use them that much. Um, I'll use Killer Instinct when things get a little kind of crazy and I'm fighting a boss like um, the Ogre boss at the end of the arena. But these other two I use very, very, very rarely because one, um, Bladeslinger doesn't do a ton of damage if it doesn't crit, so I use it in emergency situations. Holy Dive costs 300 Umbra, so once again, emergency situations because I am constantly shooting arrows um, and that takes Umbra away, so it just doesn't really kind of fit my rotation as well. Now, let's jump into the passives, guys. So here is the actual tree itself. Now, I'm not going to go through each and every node with you guys. I'm just going to point out the big ones you want to make sure you get. The Hunter tree basically just filled the entire thing out. And I skipped the Evasion Trap and Distant Outburst because there wasn't really a need for those in my spec. Um, I wanted to focus more on my Trickster tree and the Assassin tree. So make sure you guys line these up. And if you guys aren't sure how to line them up, very simple. You just click on the outer ring and then turn it like so. And you can create whatever spec you want. Phenomenal system. A plus Wilson. Very good. But the ones you want to make sure you have is Momentum because this is a big kind of increase. It's plus 6% physical damage and attack speed, which is gonna do wonders for you guys. But the big ones, power coding. You wanna make sure you have this. This is your frost arrows. If you don't have your frost arrows, bad news bears, you will literally break the spec and it won't work as well. So keep that in mind. And then down here, right in the dead center, this is what I was talking about earlier. These are the sharp shots, the increased critical damage and critical chance. So keep that up and make sure you guys focus in those are the two uh, super important ones now I also took these it's important um, if you take these you're gonna basically have more charges more charges means more frost bolts more frost bolts equals enemies not attacking you and killing you I also went for lethal strikes uh, increasing my physical damage for each second stackable to 10 times which is a net total of plus 30 percent physical damage until my next damage taken if I'm hit it resets down to three percent again but if you keep things at bay with your frost shots you're gonna end up having a nice plus 30 percent just juicy buff that's gonna be sitting on you for a long time sub ammunition projectiles these are your range shots if you shoot something and it misses it hits a wall it hits anything other than an enemy it has a chance 50 percent chance you can see it's gonna split into three projectiles. Those projectiles will split into three frost bolts. So if they bounce and they hit enemies, you have potential of hitting three enemies with one shot and freezing all three of them. Now you wanna make sure you also get this one right here, heat seeking ammunition. Your range has a 15% chance to bounce to another enemy in an eight meter radius. That's gonna be phenomenal, especially for your frost bolts. I know I keep harping on that, but it's so important and it's gonna freeze all the things around that one character that you hit and create just a such a good synergy for you now up here in the assassin tree this one is all about the damage all about the crit chance folks so you have so so taught saracel and that's a plus 10 percent crit chance for weapons spells plus one of agility i went to born killer for some more crit damage more attack speed more agility and then i went punisher this is for those big boss creatures that you're trying to mark and you need to burn down really quick. Throw this on them and they will literally fall over for you. And then I went through here and just got some nice overkill buffs and that's about it. So there's the skill tree guys, very simple, straightforward. Knock this out, follow these. Feel free to take all the screenshots you guys want and have at it. So. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flip over to some gameplay so you guys can watch and I'll drop in some commentary um, so we can see how the Redeemer set is claimed. But before I do that, I need to talk to you guys a little bit about Arena real quick. So when you're going through the Arena, there are gonna be things that don't have loot. It's gonna say no. What you want, the ones that drop the Redeemer sets, the ones that say yes. Anything that has yes is automatically Redeemer set. Now this spec that I was using, I completed eight waves in 56 seconds. On this one, I completed eight waves in a minute 10. This one, minute 34. This one, minute 27, 10 waves. And this 13 seconds to kill this boss. And this boss is one that drops the Hydra. Now, this spec, like I said, mows things down, but you have to be aware. You need to drop traps where you need to. You need to make sure that you keep your 
ammo where it needs to because this will reset so you just press that button so press number one for instance and it'll cycle through so frost crit arrow rain done like i said let's flip over and let's take a look at some gameplay guys and we'll talk about how the spec works all right so this is the final boss of the arena and it's an ogre so on and so forth first thing i did was i dropped a trap i kept a few extra charges i knew i'd probably need them dropped an arrow rain real quick dropped another trap beneath him which froze him hit him with another arrow rain and he was dead so basically i put out an insane amount of damage in a really short period of time i was able to get my hydra uh, so that completed that pair um, there was obviously i was looking at a slight difference there on if they rolled differently but here is gauntlet four so this is the last gauntlet and if you notice i'm always shooting right uh, that's a big thing about this spec. If you look on the mini map, you can shoot where you see creatures. And the nice thing about the crossbow is there's no like damage fall off or anything like that. So you can sit there and just continuously shoot. And one of the big things is you want to start cycling those traps and keep the enemies at bay. So if you're shooting to the right, drop a trap to the left. That way enemies are walking into that. They freeze and you can uh, continue mowing them down. So as you can see, I have three traps. I keep them in kind of a triangle around myself. And if something spawns like that, that Ascendant just did, um, I'll hit him with an arrow rain. That way they spawn in, they hit the trap, they're immediately frozen and I can work on mowing them down. Now a lot of that comes out of just understanding the spawn points. But if you can get into this triangle, this setup, then it's just a continuous thing of mowing them down as they spawn, they spawn, they freeze, you kill them, they spawn, they freeze, you kill them. And it makes these waves incredibly easy. But you can just see the raw power that Arrow Rain has. And I'm assuming this is gonna get nerfed, so if you're looking for that Redeemer set and an easy way to do it, this is probably the best bet for now. Um, I tried doing a magic set earlier and it just didn't have the same throughput for me. So I'm sticking with my archer build. This build actually got me to uh, level 55 in the kind of endless wave uh, portion of the arena, which was super nice. So it's a, it's a good build and I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. Now, as you can see, I'm not moving. I'm just sitting here, I'm standing still. I have my plus 30% damage buff and nothing's happening. I'm dropping traps where I need to drop them, keeping that triangle up. Uh, making sure that you know everybody kind of stays at bay. My frost arrows are freezing people. My other arrows are bouncing off, and that's it. The arena's over. I got my two pieces of reclaimer, a redeemer for that one, and moving on. So guys, what do you think of the build? I'm really curious to hear what you have to say. Have you unlocked the redeemer set? If so, what build did you use? And for those of you who haven't picked up Wilson yet, you know. Are you planning on it? And if so, definitely let me know. I'm curious when the online portion is going to drop. They keep saying beta. I'm curious when that's going to be. But when it does, we can party up, run through some of these things. The endless dungeons are pretty cool. The bounty system is pretty neat. So I think this uh, this spec has gotten me super, super far. I didn't get any legendaries uh, that actually dropped for me today. But I managed to get in the endless dungeons, the bounty system. I managed to get to dungeon level 70. Uh, without a single legendary so that was pretty i mean that sucked but it's all right it's okay guys just keep smiling stay positive drop a comment below let's keep this discussion going guys this has been vulcan and i am out of here